If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is solve the following equation. And it's x over x minus 2 minus 1 equals 3 over x plus 1. Smash that like button and let's get started. So we want to solve the fractional equation. x over x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 over x plus 1. So the first thing we should do is multiply both sides of the equation by a common denominator. And in that case, or in this case, it's x minus 2 times x plus 1. We could just multiply by the denominators. Okay, and when we do that, on the right-hand side, the x plus 1's cancel out. On the left-hand side, the x minus 2 in the first part of the, of the uh, product cancels out. But what's left on the second term is a negative x minus 2 times x plus 1. And that left-hand side is equal to 3 times x minus 2. Let's distribute everything out. So we have x squared plus x minus the quantity x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 3x minus 6. So we have x squared plus x. Now let's multiply that negative all the way through. So minus x squared plus x plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 6. Let's combine like terms. So notice we have an x squared minus an x squared. That's going to go to 0. And we have an x plus x. That's 2x plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 6. So this isn't even a quadratic anymore. It's down to a linear equation we have to solve. We bring the x's to the right and the constants to the left, and we get x equals 8. And now, since we had a fractional expression to start with, we need to make sure we never divided by 0. So let's just check our answer. So is it true that 8 over 8 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 over 8 plus 1? Well, let's work it all the way out. Suppose we don't have a calculator. 8 sixths minus 1, is that equal to 3 ninths? Well, that's 4 thirds minus 3 thirds, which is exactly equal to 1 third. We did it. Yay. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.